Okay, so, uh, via the last little snippet you saw, um, went out to the shop to go tinker with the car, kind of, I put my old stir back on and stuff, and then, uh, put some heaters on the lift to get, uh, everything loosened up, hopefully, and it went up just fine, but normally when you go up on a lift, you hear, dun 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 you know, two tunks, uh, you know, giving you the, giving you the, uh, illusion that there's little, two little deals poking out to grab the posts and I was only hearing one tunk, so lowered it back down, and we're gonna head back out there at a different time. Uh, that might be what you see next. Right, so just got a phone call from my brother and my dad saying that they both, without my knowledge of anything, they uh, went ahead and flipped the flex plate around, and or the flywheel, or whatever you wanna call it. They flipped, they flipped stuff around, and my brother put wires where he thinks is right and it, it's not playing ball. So I'm on my way right now. It's beautiful out right now. Thank crap. Dude, it's, it's 55. It's awesome. Excellent. Uh, so we're heading that direction now. Cross my fingers. Hopefully we can get something going. Although my dad took my torque freaking torque converter bolts because they weren't the right ones uh we will see let's let's see what happens all righty to, to catch everybody up here here's what we got we got the beautiful red box back here and uh without me knowing my brother and my dad they both took they took the transmission out flipped the flywheel around got all that stuff jiggy 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 going and uh, had a weird feeling that, that the starter was Bacocta, which is fine. So we put her back up in. We, uh, we as in me, me gets a phone call from, from my brother saying that uh, everything's done. Just got to put wiring back together and whatever. And we're good to go. I, I told him just plug this in, plug that in, and whatever. And... Lo and behold, whenever he put the battery on, it cooked the battery. Um, come to find out, the it's easier to explain, hold on. Okay, as a reference, we've got, let's just pretend this is the big ass one that goes to my starter. All this copper was showing and it grounded out on the bet on the bolts going that hold the starter together. Not knowing that, we thought this the wiring's wrong, this is wrong, that's wrong. I put a little baby test light, like a one watt little bulb, that lit up on the deadest of batteries chilling out over there by the fridge, and it lit up. It did not light up on my battery. So my battery got cooked. Like I'm blown away, it didn't just potato and just ignite. So, th thank you to the fine, fine folks at, I'm only going to say the name because they don't pay me, but you save big money at the day, you know. So we got a fresh battery in it, found the ground, fixed it, basically wrapped the hell out of it with electrical tape and got it sorted. Ladies and gentlemen, it cranks. <laughs> it cranks and then I found out that I didn't wire in, uh, put a positive or negative to my MSD. So that's what I'm gonna do like right now. So bear with me, we might get a startup. Might just get to burping. Be back with a bit. <laughs> Trying to find some fat wire, black. So I don't get them crisscrossed out the sauce. For a second there, I thought about spray painting a wire. Not gonna do that. Okay, 
should never do this. This is not how it's supposed to be done, but if you don't have a fat enough wire, take two. That's what I want to do. Sue me. Okay, that wasn't a five minute fix, that was a 26 minute fix. <laughs> hey, look we'll call me, look call me. We're gonna try to fire it up. We'll see. We got far. Oh, I'm so fucking jazzed now. Hell yeah. Cool. Sweet. Fucking chin music, baby. Mmm. Get you some of that. 